So, Mike, let's close this. What can the um, what can the Trump transition do to help reform the Department of Justice? There's a lot that the Trump transition can do. He needs to pick a bold attorney general. It, uh, as I've said a thousand times for many years, it's not going to be me. I can't get confirmed to anything as the guy who ran confirmations. I would get one charity vote from Chuck Grassley and ruin his 65 year career. But Trump needs to pick a bold attorney general. Uh, Bill McGinley is a great White House counsel who we announced yesterday. I'm friends with Bill McGinley. He's a warrior. Uh, if, if Trump picks a bold attorney general to team up with Bill McGinley, they need to go in. They need to clean out the Justice Department. They need to clean out the leadership of the litigating divisions at Maine Justice. They need to clean out the leadership of the FBI, including all the key field offices. They need to clean out the key U.S. attorney's offices like the D.C., U.S. Attorney's Office, the Eastern District of Virginia, the Southern District of New York. These people who have been focusing on lawfare and election interference need to be investigated and if, and if appropriate, prosecuted for conspiracy against rights under 18 U.S.C. Section 241. There needs to be Inspector General investigations. There needs to be professional, Office of Professional Responsibility investigations. There needs to be Criminal Division investigations along with investigations in Congress. Uh, House Judiciary Committee, Jim Jordan, Senate Judiciary Committee, incoming Chairman Chuck Grassley, my former boss, House and Senate Appropriations Committees, House and Senate Oversight Committees. This is the most important appointment, the AG, and the most important, and th the most important job is serious reforms to the Justice Department. So we never have a politicized and weaponized justice system again and this goes all the way back to crossfire hurricane in 2016 there has to be accountability there has to be serious investigations and there must be consequences political financial legal including prosecutions